Welcome to Good Morning Madison. My name is Margaret Bushman and I work in the circulation department. First off, we start with where Gus the book bus will be. Where, oh, where is Gus the bus? So oh, where, oh, where will he be? This week, Gus will be at the North Elementary all week. If you have a child or a grandchild that attends North, please ask them how their trip to the bookmobile went. Wednesday evening, Gus will be at Madison Preschool's Trunk or Treat event from 6 to 7 p.m. Stop by and get a piece of candy from Gus and perhaps check out a book. Friday evening, Gus will be at the library's drive through Trick or Treat. Drive past Gus and get a piece of candy on your way around the parking lot. This event is from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Moving from Gus's schedule to the new book spotlight. This week, I have a new book I would like to share. Night Work by Nora Roberts. This thriller by one of my favorite authors will have you intrigued by a most unusual hero. Moving from the new book spotlight to events in the library, there are several to highlight this week. Unfortunately, there's no story times this week However, you can sign up for the next Storytime sessions, which begin November 1st and run through mid-December. Sign up now. Wednesday evening at 5.30, the weekly Yarn and Yak group meets. Please join us as we knit and crochet. All are welcome. Saturday, Miss Kylie has three different Halloween events for children zero through six years old. Please sign up online for these programs. I mentioned it earlier, but don't forget this Friday evening is the library's annual drive-through trick-or-treat from 6 to 7.30 p.m. This is a rain, snow, or shine event. Library staff members will be outside in the parking lot between the library and the high school handing out candy and treats to children riding in vehicles with their adults. Please enter the high school driveway at the corner of Burns and Middle Ridge Roads to safely make the loop through the parking lot. Thank you for watching Good Morning Madison and look for us again next week when we share what's happening in the library.